so this is the ionic capacitor app with local notification feature so you can see a toggle button here if, we, if i enable this uh, just i enabled and you can see uh, the local notification came here every one second uh, with the id 7 8 9 10 and so on so this is the continuous local notification and uh, if i disabled uh, then it will stop so you can see it not came here now so if i enable this again uh, you can see the local notification continue uh, with the incremented id so this is the and now i disable this so first of all i will tell you uh, which plugin i used in this so this is the capacitor plugin capacitor app so i just use this local notification plugin capacitor so you have to install this command before using this uh, feature so make sure you have installed this plugin by running this command these both command so these two commands are required so after installing this uh, now let's check the code so we have two we have a component here noti 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 which have html and ts file so we 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 only make code for this features inside the html and ts file only so first if you check the ts file so first we import this local notification and schedule options from at the red capacitor slash local notification so make sure you import this first so this is the first step uh, before uh, starting the code now i create uh, a array uh, id of type number uh, you can see this is the of type number this is basically the empty array in the starting uh, i will I, I will explain how, why what is the use of this array uh, inside the code and now i just use a resume uh, property of type boolean and default value is false so i will explain later what is the purpose of this uh, property resume so now if you check the ng on in it uh, you can see there is a set interval function and it will execute the inner code every one second so you can see it's uh, one second here actually this is millisecond and it can be uh, convert in second then it will be one second so every one second uh, this code will be executed so inside this there is uh, if condition uh, if condition uh, we have checked the resume is true or false if the resume is true then this method will be called so resume is nothing but the iron toggle button ng model property so if you check the stable code you can see inside iron toggle ng model resume is attached so if resume is uh, iron toggle is enabled the resume value will be true if iron toggle is disabled resume value is false so it means if the iron toggle is enabled resume value is true then this schedule function will be executed so i think this is the clear and if you check the schedule function uh, this is the schedule function basically and schedule function is nothing but it 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 used to schedule the local notification so so basically this schedule method it will be called every one second if the iron toggle is enabled so uh, inside schedule function you, you can check we create a, a new date property and actually this is not of used right now i i just let me comment this so this is not of used right now uh, if you check the below line you can see we create a id and id is nothing but uh, uh, it's the length current length of the id array so id array length will be assigned to this id property and uh, id property just push this id uh, property so id is nothing but the current length of the array and inside id array we just push the id value 
so you can see uh, this code is uh, much clear now so now if you check the option part uh, you can see uh, it's a type of schedule option will which which can be used to schedule the local notification so schedule option uh, is nothing but a object of notification so this is notification is nothing but a array of object and inside this we have some property id and id of the local notification and this id is just uh, we define uh, earlier so this id is assigned into the id property and title is just the lo local local notification id and we just combined with id so it will uh, show the num id uh, when the local notification is arrived so uh, this basically this id is nothing but the current length of the array so if the length is 1 then the id will be 1 so the local notification id 1 id 2 id 3 so this 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 way it will show the so on the and title and body is local notification body so so this id will be differentiated between among all not local notification now after the notif option is defined uh, we we also put the if condition here if the resume is in a, if the resume is uh, true uh, then the local notification will be scheduled so we no, there is nothing local notification have the schedule method and inside schedule we pass the options we defined uh, above so this is the options so this is the code basically and and hope you understand so this is the simple method uh, if the resume is enabled or disabled then the local notification will be scheduled and set set interval will be called schedule method every se one second so that's why the local notifications came every one second uh, in the in the background so and uh, if we disable the toggle the local notification just stop so this is the basic code Hope you like this. If you like this, please subscribe the channel, like the video, we'll be back soon with some other video. Thank you.